Alright, so this is going to be a short advanced guide that I personally built over the course of the year that I've been playing this game. I'm not going to go over the basic shit, such as like updating your GPU drivers, etc, as there's tons of other guides for that. So starting off, in-game settings all low, uncapped FPS in-game, but you can cap it to something like 144 through your GPU settings like I did. No point going above 144 unless you like your room being a toaster. And then dynamic resolution scaling off, this shit will actually increase your stutters. And vsync off, obviously. Onto the game tab, this won't increase your FPS, but turn off camera shake for your sanity. Put player nameplate amount to 7 or lower, this is huge for your FPS. And your game will literally take a shit if this is too high. And then bandwidth mode on high, emit client telemetry data off for sure. In Windows settings, Xbox game bar off, and then game mode on. In Steam settings, disable Steam overlay. I found this reduced my macro stutters a lot. Just be aware you won't be able to make any cash shop purchases with this off, so you would have to turn it back on and restart your game if you want to go buy something. Now on to NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Just for reference, this is going to make your graphics turn into potato like mine. Your game does run a lot smoother though, and the stutters pretty much disappear after this. If you have an AMD card, I'm sorry, but you can't do this. I put a link to where you can download this program for. Just scroll all the way down to the latest, download the zip and extract it, and then run the .x file. Tab New World at the top left, then change these two bold settings to what I have, and then how bad you want your graphics to be is dictated by this number. The higher plus you go, the shittier it looks. I personally like 1.5, but you can go even higher if you don't care about your graphics at all. And if you ever do want to revert this, just change it back to zero. So onto the advanced guide, you don't need to go buy like a $500 CPU with 16 or 32 cores or something. I'm using a $200 CPU with 10 cores and it's more than enough for this game. I even have half the cores turned off. Most MMOs are CPU handicapped, but they also utilize a very small amount of cores. So your single core clock speed is a lot more important than how many cores you have, which is why I'm going to recommend overclocking later. All these settings are going to be in your BIOS, so expect some UI differences. Hyperthreading disabled, most MMOs benefit from it being disabled, including New World. If you have the new Intel CPUs, I recommend turning off E cores as I got a 5 FPS increase from doing that. Now on to overclocking. I can't speak much for AMD since I've never had one before, but if you have an Intel CPU with K at the end, that means it's basically asking to be overclocked. Honestly, if you just Google your CPU and put overclocking next to it, you'll probably see a bunch of guides on how to do it. And no, you're not going to ruin your CPU by overclocking it, so don't worry about that. Overclocking does decrease the lifespan of your CPU, yes, but you shouldn't worry about it unless you plan on keeping that same CPU for over 6 years or something. You will get at least a 20 to 40 FPS increase by overclocking your CPU, so I highly Now onto the registry stuff. First thing is going to be changing New World's priority because Task Manager doesn't let you do it. Just a note, this is going to make pretty much everything outside of your game be slower or laggier, but it did help me get rid of micro stutters caused by background programs, etc. What I have in the close them. And lastly, we have TCP no delay, or better known as disabling Nagel's algorithm. This is a trick I've seen people do in a lot of MMOs and multiplayer games like WoW, Final Fantasy, BDO, and even Minecraft to decrease input delay. I don't know if it actually makes too much of a difference for New World, but it definitely won't harm you, so you might as well do it. I've included screenshots that you can pause and look at to make sure you're doing it right as well. And the last one actually is debloating your GPU drivers. This one is pretty complicated and a lot of extra work, so I'm just going to attach a link to it in the description. You get like a 2-5 to five FPS increase from doing it, and it basically just gets rid of GeForce experience and all the other extra stuff, and just keeps the bare minimum essentials. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I hope I don't get attacked by any tech nerds for some of this stuff. 
I simply just have a lot of people ask me how they have better PC specs than me and still get lower FPS, so I made this for them. Again, there are tons of new world optimization guides out there, but there isn't one that has all this in one, so it's a lot easier to link someone this than rather 3 to 4 different videos and posts, you know? And if one of these things has no benefit, then so be it, who cares? It won't harm you.